Today on Household Hacker, we're going to etch metal with a 9 volt battery. What? First things first, pour a little vinegar into a bowl. You don't need to be exact here. Next, add some salt and mix it in until it's blended really good. Now I've decided to etch a knife, so let's break out that little beast. But keep in mind, any metal will work with this process. We're gonna wanna apply a makeshift stencil so the acid in the vinegar burns away enough of the metal to make a cool design. We went ahead and printed out our logo and slowly cut around it with some duct tape to seal in the rest of the blade. Once the stencil is complete, you just grab a nine volt battery, dip a Q-tip into the bowl, and hook up all these little wires here. The positive end of the battery should be put directly onto the metal. So in this case, we're putting it on the knife. The negative end should be on the wet Q-tip. Fantastic. All right, it's time to party. Just evenly apply the vinegar to the blade. You might see some bubbles and smoke. That's not a problem. We're not really dealing with a lot of electricity here. After a few minutes, you can remove your stencil and you should have a nice metal etching in its place. Pretty cool, and most importantly, very easy. A huge thanks to audible.com for helping us keep the content coming to you. They're the leading provider of audiobooks and they're giving Household Hacker fans a free download when you try out their service. Just head over to audible.com slash household. You can choose from over 150,000 titles. I've been listening to Super Brain Hacks by Larry Christopher. Now this book really got me thinking about utilizing random items to achieve some awesome things. Go give Audible a try. It really helps support our show and they have some really awesome stuff to see. Again, that was audible.com slash household. We'll see you next time and be sure to share this with your friends. Who doesn't want their own branded butcher knife? <laughs>